welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is claire so let's just ignore like my skin going berserk right now accutane this month has not been nice to me if you read the title i'm going to try cycle bar for the first time today it's 8 20 i have class at 10 but it's like 25 minutes away and they told me to be there early so i'm gonna leave probably at like nine ish so i have like about 40 minutes till i have to go i have done spin classes before I've done Soul Cycle because we have Soul Cycle up north. I'm from New York, and so I have done Soul Cycle not many times, but like enough times. When I left for college, I was just starting to get like back in the routine of like spin classes, but I like miss them. So I'm going to a spin class today. Cycle Bar is different, but it's the same, but it's like different. <laughs> I don't know how it's different. I know they put like your stats on a leaderboard. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out when I get my stats. I don't know, I'm overall just excited to get in that like environment again since I haven't been in a spin class in at least a, like a year. So I'm excited for the music and the cardio and I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know how it goes, but they personally called me while I was at work yesterday so I couldn't answer, but. They called me and left a message saying like if I have any questions I can call them back. They'll give me a tour when I get there. We're doing the 10 a.m. Friday class with Michelle. Here's my issue with spin classes. I like working out and I like working out most days, like almost every day. And spin classes are so expensive, like so expensive. And that's just not practical, you know? If I really like Cycle Bar, I might start going once a week. However, that still like adds up. I'm a little nervous to be going alone. I've never ever gone to any workout class by myself. So this is a new thing. We're branching out here. I'm standing on a bed. I'm wearing my Lululemon leggings. I don't know which ones they are, sorry. And then my sports bra is also from Lululemon and it crisscrosses in the back. I'm freezing so I'm keeping my sweatshirt on for now and I'll update you when I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song but I've been hella stressed but I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Staring at you on the set plane, I ain't worried about nothing cause you got me feeling like the Wayne White in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all the anxiety But you hit to the side of me I feel like I'm gliding And honestly, look, I don't want you saying That you had a better chance without me That you wish you had made plans without me Look, I hate to make this song about me But I really wanna tell you that I just got here, I'm outside Cycle Bar right now It's like behind me But it's about 9.30 and it doesn't start till 10 So I think I'm gonna sit in the car for like 10 more minutes yeah, I'm gonna listen to music for a little while longer and then I'm gonna go in and we're gonna have a good time. Trigger happy, you looking by, I might just detonate. Tell them dudes looking far back. Kidding the kill, I need all that. Let them call, but don't call back. Let them call, but don't. I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. That you wish you had made plans without me. Look, I hate to make this song about me. I just got out. Um, I'm gonna like go into depth once I get home, but I wanted to show you what I looked like afterwards. Um, yeah, I'm extremely sweaty, like very, very sweaty. I also just picked up a ice latte from Narrative Coffee Roasters. Let me judge. It was a very like, um, what's the word? Artisan. It seemed very like artisan-y. Artisany is not a word, but it was like an artisan coffee shop. It was pretty fancy. I felt weird going in in a sports bra, but I'm gonna taste it. I got a nice vanilla latte. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay, I'm gonna drive home now. Okay, people, I look so disgusting right now because I'm so sweaty and I'm going to take a shower after I film this part of this video. I just got home from my first cycle bar class. 
I will say they were super duper nice um, the moment I walked in the door and they had a dog. They have like a dog that is in the store all day and his name's Ryder and he's really, really cute. And I just think all stores should have a dog. Ryder made me really happy as soon as I walked in. Um, they asked me if I was nervous. I was like, I'm not too nervous. Like, I kind of know what I'm doing. Like, I've done Soul Cycle before. They were like, oh, you'll be fine. I was like, no, I don't want you to think I'm like, good. I'm not good. I, I just, I've done it before. <laughs> then we go inside. They like help me set up on the bike because even though I know how to set it up, for some reason I can never do it alone. Like, I don't understand how to set up a bike. And I've, I've tried by myself multiple times and I just don't know how to do it. I loved the instructor. Her name was Michelle. She was such a sweetheart. She was so, so, so nice and she was so pumped. Also, I really liked her music. It was different than any sort of spin music I've had in the past. My favorite song from the class today was Proud Mary. Like, it was so good. And you're like, what? But like, trust me, it was so, so, so good. In the past with cycling classes, I've had trouble like keeping up with like the rhythm and the moves and stuff. And like I've been to at least 10 to 20 soul cycle classes in my life. Um, but I've still always had trouble with keeping up with the moves. Today was the first day where I felt like I was like on key most of the time, which is such a cool feeling. Um, I don't know why today was different. Like I haven't been to a spin class since probably like a year ago. So I was pretty impressed with myself with that. I kind of like the bar instead of weights. Um, if you don't know, Soul, I'm not like bashing Soul Cycle because <laughs> I love both, but I definitely like the bar way more than the weights. I think the bar is just, it's, it's more pleasant for me personally because I have no upper body strength. Oh, I liked the room and the way it was set up. It seemed more spacious. like. It was a pretty big space, like there was room between bikes. I was like dripping in sweat, like dripping in sweat. Here's my journey with spin so far. First few times, like I liked it, but it was just so hard when I first started that I was like not that into it. Um, and then as I kept going more, I started liking it more back home at SoulCycle, but today, was like the first time I've ever enjoyed a class as much as I did. Like I enjoyed it so much, it was so much fun. I really don't think there's a big difference between what studio you go to. I think if you go to the studio, it always is gonna depend on the instructor. I think the instructor makes all the difference and I'm obsessed with Michelle, okay? I really liked her. I don't think I've ever liked an instructor as much as I liked her today. The next thing is like the leaderboard. There is like stats and a leaderboard at Cycle Bar. I like that you can check your stats on the app. However, I do not know how accurate it is. And let me tell you why. Apparently I went eight miles. That part's probably 100% accurate because it's easier to track. Power, 147 watts. 21st in ride. Okay, I wasn't at the very bottom, but I definitely was nowhere near like the middle. Even though I could like keep up with the movements, I need to like work on turning my resistance up some more. Here's the reason why I'm not sure how accurate the stats are is because it says I burned 202 calories. And my watch, because I have my watch turned on too, my watch says 430 calories. So that's obviously like a huge difference. And I think the watch is just more accurate because the watch is taking my heart rate and the bike isn't. The bike is just going on like reps per minute. It's nice to be able to look at the stats, um, but I think if you have an Apple Watch, use that instead because I do think that the calories on my watch is more accurate than the calories on this. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is the leaderboard. So the stats you can see on your own bike the leaderboard is when you're ranked on the screen of where you are in the class. Um, some people don't like this, and if you don't like it, you can choose not to be included on the leaderboard. So if you don't want to be on the leaderboard, you don't have to be. 
However, I kind of like the leaderboard. Um, they don't show it the whole ride. They show it like mostly towards the end, like once or twice, just to get you to like put in that last final push. <laughs> this sounds so stupid. If you guys have seen Divergent, which is like one of my all time favorite books and like movies, if you've seen Divergent, they have like the leaderboard of like where they are in the rankings. And I, I like saw my name up there on the leaderboard and I felt like I was like in Dauntless, which is like kind of badass, you know? So I personally like the leaderboard. Some people don't like it, but then you just tell them you don't want it up there, and that's fine. In summary, I really, really enjoyed my class today. Way more than I've ever enjoyed any other spin class before. I really loved my instructor. I really liked the studio here in Naples. I thought it was really kind, and there was a dog. And that just tops everything in my book. Um, would I put Cycle Bar, like above soul cycle not really they're basically the same i think it depends on the instructor oh i was definitely like drenched in sweat the stats is like a nice aspect it's nice to see your stats afterwards um and i like the leaderboard i think it's cool i will 100 percent be going back i think i'm gonna make cycle bar a weekly thing i'm probably gonna purchase a package i know they have a cycle bar studio back in Knoxville where I go to school. So I'll probably get a package and keep going between here and Knoxville. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'll probably vlog some more Cycle Bar classes on the weekends. I'm now trying to upload twice a week instead of once, so I was uploading every single Sunday, but now I'm gonna try to upload either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm. It depends on the week which day is better for me, but I still definitely will be posting every single Sunday. So stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.